All right, ready? Yeah. Hey guys, we're at GDC checking out Snail Bob 2, so let's, let's take a look. Let's do this. Um, yeah, so, so Snail Bob 2, uh, sequel to Snail Bob, as you might expect. Uh, the original was uh, published by Chilingo, I think it was, must have been like 2011 maybe. Uh, and uh, the general idea is it's a, uh, a puzzle game that's kind of aimed at uh, kids, uh, kids slash parents maybe. And um, uh, Snail Bob, he uh, crawls along and you just need to get him to the exit on each level. Uh, it's, it's fairly simple because obviously it's aimed at kids so we don't really want it to be um, ridiculously difficult. Uh, but uh, the general idea is that you want to kind of poke and prod each of the things in the levels to help him get to the end. You can make him stop, you can make him start, you can make him turn around. Uh, and um, yeah, it's, it's just generally a expansion of the original idea. And it has hats in it as well, obviously, because every game has to have hats in it. need now. hats. Yeah, there's not hats in the game, and what's the point? Um, yeah, so these are just the tutorial levels where he's kind of leaving his house and it's incredibly simple. Uh, it purposely kills you there just to make you learn the, the value of snail life. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's pretty much what this game is about. It's, um, it's, it's fairly simple and... Uh, oh god, this button's not actually working now. It's useful. <laughs> that's what you get for doing an early build, isn't it? All right, so what I'll do is I'll jump back here and go to... So let's see what like a more advanced level looks like, maybe. Or are they sure. all kind of of similar kind of difficulty? Um, so they 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 do get a little bit more difficult. So you can kind of see this one. So um, if we just turn around, then he just goes for a plunge uh, and gets eaten by some nasty looking fish, which is kind of horrible. So what we really need to do is bring this platform around here and turn around, bounce off there, press this button, and then we get a nice little platform there. Um, so yeah, it doesn't get massively difficult, but I guess in, in the, for the standard of what a kid might play, right? Yeah. It, uh, it's you know, it's pretty tricky. Like my my three year old, he he kind of half gets the game, so he'll he'll be able to do like half the puzzles, but then like on this one, he'd need some help, uh, and I, I think that's kind of generally the idea to oh. to build something that kind of people can play with their kids. Cool. Um, and then you can see there's like stars in each level, so I haven't been doing that, but basically on each level there's stars hidden around. So you can see on here, there's like there, and there, and there. Again, not massively difficult, but uh, it's, uh, let's have a look. Right, so on this one, problem here is this guy kind of comes down. Some of the enemies in this are actually kind of scary. Um, but uh, So what we need to do here instead is stop, turn around, go this way. And then if we pull this, turn around again, and obviously we make him eat the bomb instead of eating us. Oh, cool. Nice. Oh, I didn't get the stars. Let's get them quick. Nice. Um, so yeah, there's uh, I, I, like I say, I, I don't know uh, when this will be coming out yet because right now I think there's about two worlds of it in place, and I think in the end there's going to be three, maybe four. And then okay. the same with the original games, the idea is to um, kind of build on it afterwards. Um, so let's see, can you, can we go to harder levels, I wonder? Uh, what's this one? Oh no, that's the one we were just on. Um, yeah, so um, so yeah, this is, this is um, essentially how the game works, really. Cool, thanks.